everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Masande Mustafa and for today's video we are making this half sweater I think other people call it squash I don't know I'm just gonna call it half sweater this is how it looks from the front I did use half double crochet so I wouldn't say it's actually beginner friendly because there's a lot of increasing and decreasing so you actually need to be good with increases and decreases for you to know how to go about making this for your own size so this is how the back looks and these are the sleeves of course i did use half double crochet and this is a single crochet rib and also along the neck and he has this wave so this is the reason why i feel i said you need to know how to do increases and decreases because you have to do some for the neckline and also for the sleeve at the front so i would say this is an intermediate slash beginner so you definitely need to know the basic of increasing and decreasing this tutorial i would advise you to watch the video from the beginning to the end just so you know and have an idea of what this is going to be about um i did use a medium weight here and a three millimeter crochet hook throughout the whole tutorial i did not switch my crochet hook i used the same crochet hook and you'll be needing a measurement tape and some stitch markers and the scissors of course so let's get right into the tutorial so to get started i'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot and we are going to chain um a total i am going to chain a total of 53 chains so you're going to chain a chain that is how long you want your top to be as you can see this is me taking my measurement so mine is a total of 11 inches so you're going to go ahead and make a chain for how long you want your top to be so i chained a total of 53 and when you measure that that is a total of 12 inches when it's stretched so you can go ahead and add the length but i think for this design 12 inches is perfect um you don't need to except you want it a bit longer then definitely go ahead and add the length add more chains but i did a total of 53 chains and this is perfect so i'm going to chain one extra and right into the second chain from the hook right there i'm going to go with my first half double crochet and another half double crochet right into the next so for the rest of row one i'm just going to add one half double crochet in every chain up until the very end and then i'll see you guys when i have that complete So at the end of row 1, you should have a total of 53 double crochets. Um, to get started with row 2, you're going to chain 1, turn, and right into the first half double crochet. You're going to go but this time around in the back row fully with your first half double crochet. Yarn over and right into the next back row fully with a second. And right into the next and the back row fully with a third so you're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way till the end and when you get to this end you're going to chain one and repeat the process until you have a total of the half of your upper bust measurement um so my upper bust measurement is um 33 when divided by two that will be a total of 17 so i'm going to just go ahead and repeat this rows of half double crochet until i have a total of 17 inches wide of back panel because this is the back panel and then i'll come back and show you guys what mine look like so we can start with the front panel so after a few rows um this is what my work looks like i did a total of 60 rows but in this clip i did a total of 50 which is a total of 17 and a half which is the exact half measurement of my upper bust but then later on I decided that I wanted it to be oversized, so I went ahead and added 10 more rows just to give me a bit of loose fitting instead of my exact measurement. So you can either go for the f exact measurement or loose fitting or just try to increase. Depends on you and what you want to go for. 
And also, please check the description box for recommended rows for different sizes. Because if you're making a smaller size, that means you need to do less rows. And if you're making a bigger size, of course, you need to do more rows. So please check the description box for your own size if you want to go ahead and do use the measurements that I already calculated for myself and for different sizes. If not, then feel free to use your bust measurement like I already said previously. So to get started with the front panel, you're going to make a slip knot and chain the same amount you chained for your back panel. So I did a total of 53 chains, so I'm going to go ahead and chain a total of 53 chains and an extra one chain because that does not count as a stitch. After a total of 53 chains, I'm going to go ahead and chain an extra one which does not count as a stitch and right into the second chain from the hook I'm going to go with my first after bob crochet and into the next with another after bob crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and add one after bob crochet in every chain up until the very end. So after row 1, you should have a total of 53 after bob crochet. So to get started with row 2, you're going to chain 1 and turn. So right into the first after bob crochet, you're going to go with another after bob crochet, but this time in the back loop. So you're going to go right there with the after bob crochet. And into the next with another after bob crochet. And you're just going to go ahead and add half double crochet in every space from the previous half double crochet up until the very end. So after row 2, I'm going to go ahead and chain 1 and turn. So right now, I'm just going to work the same after bow crochet and the back loop only. So row 3, you're going to continue to do this for a total of 3 inches. So now it's um, one and almost 1 and a half inches. So I'm going to continue this for a total of 3 inches and then I'll see you guys when I have 3 inches complete. So right here, I have a total of two and a half inches which is a total of seven rows it's a total of seven rows so now we are going to start a decrease for the lower part of the top so this is the shoulder part this is the upper part and this is the lower part and the top goes like this so it actually curves like this so for that we are going to start a decrease row. so you're not going to chain one because we'll be decreasing you're going to go ahead and turn and right into this first double crochet, you're going to skip it and into the next with half double crochet. And all round with half double crochet, you know, every space up until the top. So this is where our first decrease just happened. You can already see how it's already slightly bent because of the decrease. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add one half double crochet in every space so mind you this is row eight so we are going to decrease up until row 20 and then we are going to start a normal rows of double crochet but then we are also going to start decreasing on the shoulder part because of the round neckline that we are going for but i'll let you guys know along the way where we are going to go about decreasing for that. So to get started with row 9, we are going to chain 1 because we are working on the side of no decrease. So you are going to chain 1 and turn your work and work your way all the way to the opposite side where you go ahead and do your decrease for row 9. Mm -hmm. 
so coming up to so coming up to my decrease area um i'm going to go ahead and just after go crochet decrease right this two last of the crochet together so like that and then i have my second decrease complete so i'm going to turn not chain anything and skip the first half double crochet right there and into the second with my first half double crochet and i'm going to go ahead and just add one half double crochet in the back loop up until the very end To the end of row 10 i'm going to chain one because this is now in decrease row and right there with my first half double crochet and all the way to the end where i get to do my decrease for row 11. I have to go 11 I'm going to go ahead and just do my decrease right here because we are at the upper side so right here you have one you have one and two so you're going to go after the crochet decrease so after having three loop you're going to go right into the next and now you have follow pull three pull through all two first two pull through the last three so this is your decrease so for 12 we are going to go ahead and decrease again so i'm going to continue to decrease until um row 15 which is going to be approximately um five four and a half five inches and then we are going to go ahead and start decreasing for the neckline which is the upper part and this is the lower part of the top so I'm just going to turn and right into this first second half double crochet. I'm going to go with my first half double crochet and just one half double crochet all the way to the end. So I'm going to repeat this up until row 15 and I'll come back and show you guys what I have going on. So coming up at row 15, I just did my last row and at this point it's a total of five and a half, almost five and a half inches so for now we are still going to go ahead and decrease on the side because we need it to be all the way up but then we are also going to start decreasing on the neckline so for that we are not going to chain anything like i said when we are decreasing we are just going to go ahead and turn and right into the second half double crochet we are going to go there with our first half double crochet and one half double crochet all the way to the top so coming right up at row 16 we are going to go ahead and do our first decrease so right here we are going to go ahead and do our first half double crochet decrease so i'm going to yarn over insert my crochet hook yarn over insert my crochet hook into the next pull through and i'm going to pull through all four so i'm not going to chain anything because we are going to go ahead and do another decrease right here for the next row so i'm going to yarn over skip the first half double crochet right there and into the second with my first half double crochet and one half double crochet all the way to the end of the row So coming right at the opposite end of our row, we are going to go ahead and do another decrease right at the end. And this actually completes row 16. Row 16 in this case, yes. So this completes row 16. So we are still doing the decrease on the bottom part and we started doing decreases for the neckline. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and turn and into the second chain from into the second half double crochet i'm going to go with my first half double crochet 
and one after we push it up until the top where we go ahead and do another deck base for the neckline so i'm going to repeat this for a total of five rows so at the end of the deck face at the end i should have a total of 20 rows of after we crochet so after row 20 we are going to go ahead and do the same deck face for a total of five more rows so we are going to decrease again for five rows on this end and this end so if you are making a size extra small and small you can skip this extra rows of decreases if you're making a size medium you can do the five rows of decreases because i'm making a size medium in this video and if you're making any size larger than the medium i would advise you to add five rows for each size so for example if you're making for a size large then instead of five rows of decreases go ahead and do 10 rows if you're making an extra large instead of 10 rows go ahead and do 15 rows of decreases because at the end of your front panel you have to make sure you have the same amount of rows that you did for your back panel so i did a total of 60 so i am going to make sure i have a total of 60 rows of for the front panel as well as the back panel um so to get started with that we are not going to chain anything so right into the second chain from the rope i'm going to go right there with my decrease and after we crochet all the way so i'm going to continue this until i have a total of 25 more rows of double crochet in total so guys now i have about 25 complete so that's a total of eight and a half inches and at this point this is a total of five inches long so we are going to now go ahead and do a total of 10 rows which gives us a total of 35 rows in total so we are going to now go ahead and do uh, 10 more rows of no increase and no decreases so for that we are going to chain one at the beginning because this is a no increase and no decrease row so right there i'm going to go with my first after book crochet and then one after book crochet all the way till the end of the row so you are going to do this for a total of 10 rows so at the end you should have 35 rows of after book crochet and this is for a size medium to large so coming to the end i'm just going to go right there with my last after book crochet chain one and turn so i'm going to continue to do this for a few more rows until i have a total of 35 rows in total and then i'll see you guys when i have that complete so guys now i have a total of 35 rows so we are going to repeat the same pattern that we did for this end right there so remember we did a total of seven rows at the beginning after chaining the 53 and then after a total of seven rows we went ahead and started decreasing for the bottom part of the top so we decreased up until the total of 15 row after row 15 that was when we started decreasing for the neckline so we did few decreases after row 15 up until row 25 and then now we've done a total of 10 rows with no increases and no decreases so now to balance everything off we are going to start increasing on both sides for a total of 10 rows because that was what we did here we decreased on both sides for a total of 10 rows so to balance everything we are going to do increases on this side for a total of 10 rows and afterwards we are going to stop increasing on the neckline and then we are going to continue to increase on the bottom part of the top for a total of eight rows like we did for the beginning we did uh eight rows of increase of decreases so we are going to do eight more rows of decreases which gives us a total of 18 rows and for the rest of the seven rows we are going to do normal row of no increases and no decreases so basically we are going to continue to increase up until we have a total of 53 after book crochet because that was what we had at the beginning of the front panel so it's a bit complicated but you have to do few calculations to get the perfect um front panel so i'm going to go ahead and chain one because now we are increasing so we have to chain one and turn so right into the first half double crochet i'm going to go with my first half double crochet and right there i'm going to go with my second half double crochet which actually is our first increase and right so the next i'm going to go with one after book crochet up until the very end where i go about doing my second increase for the bottom part of the panel so 
so coming to the end of this row we are working on row 36 by the way so coming to the end of row 36 i'm going to go ahead and add one more after book crochet into that last after book crochet because this is going to complete so i increase so we increased at the beginning and then at the at the beginning and then at the end so get started with row 37 we are going to chain one and turn and we are going to do another increase which is one after book crochet in the first and another after book crochet all in that same space so i'm going to go ahead and just do one more one after book crochet in every space up to the very end where i do my second increase <laughs> So coming to the end of row 37, I'm going to add my one half double crochet there and right inside the, into the same space, I'm going to go with another half double crochet. So you're going to repeat this increase pattern until you have a total of 45 rows, which is a total of 10 rows of increase. So I'm going to continue that and then I'll meet you guys when I have a total of 45 rows of double crochet in half double crochet in total. So coming up, I have my 45 rows of double crochet complete after double crochet completed. So I did a total of 10 rows of increases on both sides. So this is how it's looking at the moment. So you can see that the increases is given actually giving it the curve just to even this other side. So now we are going to go ahead and do eight rows of increases on the bottom side and not the side. So the upper side we are not going to do any more increases we are going to leave it just like that and then for the bottom part is where we are going to go ahead and increase on each row so to get started with that i am going to chain one and turn so because we are increasing on the bottom part and this is our bottom part so whenever you have this neckline right here this means this is our top upper part and this is our bottom part so now i'm going to go ahead and chain one and i'm going to go with my first half double crochet right there and into the same space with another half double crochet and for me i'm just going to go ahead and add one half double crochet in every after book crochet up until the very end of the row. So this is row 46. So if you are making a size small, that means you have less rows. If you are making a size large, that means you have more rows. I'm going to go ahead and leave the amount of rows I, I actually suggest for each size. So if you want to make your size, then you can check the description box for suggestions. Of how many rows you should actually do so coming to the upper side of the top I'm not going to do any increases like I said earlier the increases for the upper part is done it's completed after this 10 rows of increases so i'm just going to go ahead and add my last after book crochet right there and chain one and turn so for me i'm going to go ahead and add my first after book crochet in the first after book crochet space and i'm also going to add one after book crochet in every after book crochet remember in the back row pulley up until the very end where i get to do my second set of increases for 47 so coming close to the lower part of our top 
I'm going to go ahead and do my ink face right there. Add one more half double crochet in that last half double crochet. So to get started with row 48, I'm going to chain one and turn. So right here, I'm going to go with my first half double crochet and right into the same space with another half double crochet. And I'm going to go and add one more half double crochet in every space up until the end of row 48. So I'm going to continue to do this increase pattern. Whenever I get to the bottom part of the top, I'm going to go ahead and increase. And whenever I get to the upper part, there is no increase. So I'm going to continue this up until row 43. And I'll see you guys when I have row 43. 53, sorry, when I have row 53 complete. So at this point, I have a total of 53 rows, which means I need to do additional 7 rows to complete my panel. Because I'm doing a size medium again, and size medium is a total of 60 rows. So I need to do additional 7 to complete my panel. So if you did a size small, obviously you have 50 rows. And if you are doing a size bigger, you have another amount of rows. So definitely check the description again, just so you confirm. But then the last 7 rows is going to be no increases and no decrease, just so we can balance the panel. And at the end of that row, you should have a total of 53, which is the amount of chain we did for the beginning of the panel chain one and turn and we are going to work after the crochets with no increases and no decreases for a total of seven rows and that actually completes my front panel with a total of 60 rows in total so now i'm going to just work one after the crochet up until the end of this row chain one turn and continue to do this for a total of seven rows and until I have a total of 60 rows of after book crochet and my front panel is complete. So guys, right here I have a total of 60 rows. So when you fold this, you can see how everything just aligns perfectly. So this is your upper part because this is where we did the neckline. And this is the lower part of your top. So now we are going to go ahead and align and um, attach both panels together. And for that, we are going to make sure it's stretched properly. So this is our neckline. And this right here is a neckline. So we are going to go ahead and slip stitch or single crochet the upper part of both panels right here together from where we stopped with our increases we are going to go right there from so from row 15 from here to row 15 we are going to go ahead and single crochet together and we are going to do the same for this opposite side from here to row 15 we are going to single crochet the sides together. So another way to know where you need to single crochet for your shoulder pad is you can just put the front panel across your f the upper part of your body, your front panel, and then you can just go ahead and measure and use your stitch marker to mark how wide you want your neckline to be or how small you want your neckline to be. My, um, my front panel again at my back panel. And I'm going to take my yarn and then make a slip knot and just make a secure knot. So because I have these two things, I'm going to pass them over so I can slip single crochet everything together. I don't have to do it at the end. So for a single crochet, I'm just going to go make sure I line both panels in an equal way and I'm just going to single crochet my way up until row 15. the same pattern 
of me single crocheting up up to row 15 right there so after attaching your shoulders together you're going to go ahead and attach the sides of your top together which you'll see in the next clip but you all i did i did one and a half inches so you can also go ahead and turn on your top and see how wide you want your sleeves to be how wide you want your armhole to be and you're going to mark right there and single crochet the remaining sides together so now at this point we have this part of our panel attached we have this side attached we have this other shoulder attached and we have this other end attached so now you're going to go ahead and turn your top so this is what your top is looking like for now so this is the neckline and this is the bottom part of the top so now we are going to go ahead and do the sleeves we are going to go ahead and start with the sleeves started with our sleeves we are going to make a slip knot and we are going to chain a chain that is 18 inches long so this is the measurement for on the from under your armpit to all the way to your wrist so if you want it to be longer then go ahead and make a longer chains but mine is going to be 18 inches because that's the measurement for my sleeves So now I have a total of 18 inches. So 18 inches, I chained a total of 80 chains. So to get started with row one, I'm going to chain one. After chaining one, you're going to go right into the second chain from the row with your first single crochet. And you're going to do 14 more single crochets up until the 14th, 15th chain. And this is going to be your ripped band for your sleeves. So right here I did a total of 15 single crochets which is actually the wrist. So this is going to be um, single crochets while the rest of the while the rest of the sleeve is going to be half double crochets because we are working the wrist band as well as the sleeves together. So 15 single crochet for the wrist band which is a total of three and a half inches so if you want your wristband to be a bit longer then go ahead and do more single crochets if you want it to be smaller then go ahead and do less single crochets for the beginning of row one so from row 15 you can go ahead and add a stitch marker right there. so go ahead and add a stitch marker right at the end of row 15 so when you get to row 15 then you know you need to start your rows of single crochets so to get started with row 16 we are going to go with half double crochet which is yarn over insert your crochet or pull through yarn over pull through all three so we are going to do one half double crochet in every chain up until the very end of the chain <laughs> So to get started with row 2, you are going to chain 1, turn and right into this first half double crochet, you are going to go with your first half double crochet, but this time around we will be working in the back loops. So right there in the back loop with my first half double crochet and into the next with another half double crochet. So I'm going to continue to do half double crochet in the back loop up until my stitch marker where I get I'm going to start doing my single crochet in the back loops. <laughs> So right here I'm actually at my first um, single crochet so I'm going to go ahead and take off my stitch marker and right here I'm going to go with my first single crochet in the back loop. So <laughs>
but so let's start with go to a i'm going to train one and right in this back loop with my 40 15 single crochets And for me, I'm just going to go back with my half double crochet and the back loop up until the very end. So now after what they, it's actually a total of one, almost one and a half inches. So I'm going to continue to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my top and actually measure out wide this is so as you can see one side of the sleeves of the top is approximately 10 inches so i'm going to double that because that is the actual width of my sleeve so i'm going to continue to do this until i have a total of 20 inches and then i'll come back and show you guys and repeat the same process for my opposite sleeve so whenever you get to the stitch marker make sure you do your single crochet and all the single crochet back to the stitch marker and after the crochet right at the top so i'm going to continue to do this for 20 inches so if you want your sleeves to be wider then do more rows and if you want it to be smaller then do less rows so guys right here is my sleeve and this is how it looks um i did a total of 56 rows so if you want yours to be smaller like i said then do less rows and if you want yours to be wider then do more rows so i did a total of 56 rows and it's actually way wider and that is because i want my sleeves to be loose i don't want them to be fitted so if you want yours to be fitted then of course you go ahead and do them fitted just take your arm measurement and then you do the exact because this is actually very stretchy because we did use after book crochet in the back loop so it stretches all the way so you can just you can definitely just play around with it so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this for the second sleeve and then i'll come back and show you guys how we can attach the both sleeves to the top so i wanted my sleeve to be loose so that was the reason why i did one and a half inches of single crochet while when i was attaching both panels so if you wanted your sleeves to be tighter then of course you go ahead and do more slip stitch and slip stitch your both panels together for longer um row but i wanted mine to be loose so that was that is why i actually have this wide so I, all i did was i make sure i made my sleeves wide enough so they can actually just fit perfectly as you can see it actually fits perfectly in my open armpit so i'm now going to go ahead and single crochet everything together so i'm going to go ahead first and single crochet my sleeves together and afterwards i'm going to when when attaching my sleeves to the panel itself i'm going to make sure my single crochet or my seamed area is going to be right under my armpit right there so you see up in a moment so for now i'm just going to go ahead and single crochet my panels together So I'm just going to turn this to the right side. And this is how the seam looks like. So I'm also going to go ahead and straighten this so I don't have anything in the wrong place. So I'm going to make sure I straighten this real good. So for me, I'm going to make sure I align both of them together well so i can go ahead with the single crochet so i'm just going to go ahead and just turn this right because this is the right side so we are going to turn this right over so i'm going to take the amount of yarn that i just 
left the x ray and that I left out and I'm just going to make sure I pass this leaf right inside and turn this around because we are going to single crochet everything from the inside and you don't want to make to single crochet from the outside so you don't have the seam at the outside the seam needs to be inside so I'm just making sure I align the best way you can do this just to make sure your seam your sleeve seam is actually at the seam of this top so like it's aligned like this and you make sure you just balance everything well so at the end you don't have something you don't have your sleeve uneven so after aligning it and make sure this is the wrong side as you can see this is where the seam is at the top so this is where we are going to single crochet all around so right at the seam i'm going to make sure i pass my yarn through the seam of the top itself the tension might be too tight and i'm just going to make my first single crochet right there so all around i'm just going to make single crochets and make sure i adjust the sleeve perfectly so i don't do wrong seam at the wrong place basically it's a bit complicated but you can just find your way around and make sure everything aligns together well so I'm just going to make sure I single crochet both panels together like this the sleeve and the top I'm just going to make sure I single crochet everything together all around <music> So this is after a few single crochets around so see this is how it should look like very straight and seamless so i'm just going to continue to do my single crochets because now i'm walking my way down to where i started initially so i'm just single crocheting together So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this because we have this complete. So this is how it looks. So I'm also going to go ahead and just sew in this loose end because I wouldn't want to do this afterwards. And right there, I'm going to cut off. So I just wanted to show you guys how it looks from the wrong side. So this is your sleeve. This is how it was sewn. Single crochet, sorry. So this is how it was single crochet. This is the wrong side of your top because obviously there's a seam at this end, there's a seam at this end. So when it's turned over, This is how it looks when it's turned over and like I said the seam is right under the armpit so there no way nobody anybody is going to see this so that is why I suggest you do you attach your seam right to the seam of this panel of the stop so this is how the sleeve looks I'm going to go ahead and attach the opposite sleeve because i also have that complete you're just doing using the same method you use for your one sleeve and you're also going to use the same method you use for attaching the sleeve right to the opposite side and then i'm going to come back and show you guys how we go about fixing the neckline and fixing the bottom part of the top to go firstly and just attach the sleeve right to the other side of the sleeve guys as you can see i have both sleeves complete and this other side is also complete and this is how it looks this is how the single crochet was single crochet well as you can see the stitches are neat so now for the neckline what we are going to do in this case is you are going to go ahead and take your measurements so originally we did work um 
after double crochet for the back and the front panel and for the sleeve but then we did single crochets for the wrist and as you know a single crochet um, is way tighter than an after double crochet so this is where we go in with just like it's a bit difficult but you're going to go ahead and take the measurement around your neckline so right here you're going to go ahead and take the measurement from the seam because my seam is here for the shoulders so right at the seam you cannot even get you it's not possible for you to get the exact measurement but just an estimate is perfect so right at the seam i'm going to take my measurement right there and i'm just going to make sure i measure my way all around you're going to make sure you take your measurement and just slowly measure your way all around back to the seam right here so at the seam right here it's a total of 12 inches so from here i'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing for the back panel just estimately just measuring my way around there i have 18 22 and 24 and a half so we are going to guess this is a total of 24 and a half i might be wrong i might be right it's fine but again it's crocheting and you're making this yourself so you can never go wrong so now we can see that we have a total of 24 and a half inches around the neckline so we are, what we are going to do at this point is we are going to make single crochets rib stitch single crochets basically so we are going to repeat the single crochet rib stitch and we are going to make sure it actually stretches to 24 because then the neckline is going to shrink a bit so it's going to fit your neck perfectly so for that I am going to make mine a total of two inches so you can make this as long as you want you can even go for you can even go for a turtle neck if that's what you want but i don't want a turtle neck i just want a round ribbed around my neckline so that is what i'm going for so for this i'm going to just make a chain that is two inches long So I'm going to make sure. So I did a total of nine chains, which is two inches long. After chaining a total of nine, I did chain an extra one. So right into the second chain, I'm going to go with my first single crochet and I'm going to go ahead and do one single crochet up until the end of the row. So at the end, I shall have a total of nine single crochets. So coming to the end of row one, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn. So the chain one doesn't count as a stitch, it's just a starting chain. So now to get started with row two, I'm going to work this time around in the back row because this is what is going to give it the stretch and the ribbed pattern for the single crochet. So you're going to insert your hook right into the back row, pull through and you're going to yarn over and pull through. So you're going to repeat this process all until the end of row two which means you should have a total of nine single crochets at the end of row two so at the end of row two you're going to go ahead and chain one and you're just going to repeat the same process until you have a total of 24 inches because I am going to repeat the same process until I have a total of 24 inches, which is the circumference around my neckline. So you're going to do the same thing, but then you make sure it's 24 inches when it's stretched. So that is what I'm going to keep doing until I have a total of 24 inches. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how we can go about attaching it to the neck. You can also go ahead and turn on your top and see how wide you want your neck to be. And use the same measurements when making your ribbed pattern for the neckline. So guys, right here I have my rows of single crochets. And you can see how stretchy this is because I did back loop only. That was why I suggested you to do back loop. So in total, it's a total of 18, 19, 19 inches. But when it's stretched, of course, it goes all the way. And when we did the measurement around the neckline, it was a total of 94. So this is a perfect um, um, perfect band. So again, you don't really have to be so strict with the numbers because you can just play around with it. 
so i'm going to go ahead and just single crochet both ends together so i can attach it to the neckline so now that i have both single crochet together i'm going to just go ahead and turn this so this is what it looks like so i am going to attach the same area right at the center of the back panel so to do that what i'm going to do is so for this you really have to play your play around with it so you can of course go ahead and take your stitch go ahead and just take a stitch marker so it's going to help you with where you need to attach so you don't attach it at the wrong side so right here i'm just going to take my measurement tape and find the center of this neckline so it's 11 so the center should be right there so this is my center so i'm just going to go ahead and take my neck finishing and right at the center i am going to attach it but again you have to make sure you're attaching it right where the seam is so you don't want to attach your your neck finishing to the top right there because then the finishing is going to be on the right side which is not what we want so i'm going to make sure i turn this right over so my band is turned to the right side right so now i'm going to just turn it to the left to the wrong side sorry and i'm just going to go ahead and so right there i'm going to take my yarn and insert it right where the stitch marker is because that's the center of the the back center of the top so right there i'm going to go ahead and start with my first single crochet And I'm going to go ahead and take off my stitch marker because I would not be needing it again. So after, you can see that I am sewing, I am single crocheting everything from the inside. So when it's turned around like this, this is going to be the non-seam area. So from here onwards, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet. So I'm going to make sure I stretch my neck finishing after while i'm single crocheting it to the body because of course it's way stretchy and way smaller than the neckline which is what we are going for so you have to make sure you're stretching it along the way so it does fit around the neckline and you have a seamless single crochet rows when you're doing this together so it's actually something you can just play around with and see so guys this is what the tops or sweater or whatever you would call it is looking like so now we are going to go ahead and just do single crochet finishing right at the bottom just to give it a nice finishing so i am not going to do a single crochet <coughs> so i'm going to go ahead and attach my yarn right at the same area on the side and i'm just going to make a secure knot right there and from here, I'm just going to go ahead and just make do my finishing. And with this finishing, what I'm doing is insert your crochet hook. So you're going to act as if you're doing a single crochet. So you're going to insert your hook, pull through. So instead of yarning over and pull through like you would usually do a normal single crochet, you're going to go ahead and turn your crochet hook. 360 and then you're going to yarn over and pull through i don't know what this is called but this is a nice finishing it gives you top a nice finishing so what i'm going to do again is going to insert my crochet hook pull through so instead of yarning over i'm going to turn right through and then i'm just going to go ahead and single crochet together so i'm going to continue to do this all around just to give me the nice finishing that i am going for around the and bottom area of on of my top so guys this is the finishing that it actually gives you so i'm going to continue to do this all around and i'll see you guys when i have that complete so, so guys, this is what the final top looks like i love the outcome i love the finishing that i actually added to the bottom the neckline as well so if you did make yourself one of this top don't forget to tag me on instagram so we can share and see what you guys are making and also if you like this video give me a big thumbs up 
it's going to help my channel to grow and share this video with others that will share as well so they can get to make themselves one of these and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video